This is the stern of the vessel. This is where the cars drive on. Crew quarters. This is all crew quarters, yes. In the summertime, we run uh, all day long, and we actually stay the night in Victoria. Captain Ben Rowland is at the helm of the MV Coho. So if I would told you at 18 that you'd be standing here as captain, what would you have told me? I would have thought uh, you would have been crazy. A dream job. This is my office, and looking out the window, I get to see Canada, I get to see uh, Victoria every day, and then um, coming back into Port Angeles, I get to look, look at the Olympic Mountains. We do see whales on occasion, yes. Her captain sailing on behalf of the Black Ball Ferry Line. Since 1959, this privately owned and operated vessel has navigated the Strait of Juan de Fuca, transporting passengers, cars, and cargo across the maritime border between the U.S. and Canada. The company's lineage goes back even further, though 2020 has brought a storm this captain, this company, has never seen. I think about my crew all the time, and um, they're sitting at home right now just waiting, and there's nothing we can do about it right now. We just have to wait, and that's the hardest part. The coho is docked, has been since March 30th. The border remains closed to non-essential travel, a measure to stop the spread of the coronavirus. The tour buses are parked, the lounges and decks clear of passengers. When it finally set in uh, that we would have to shut down, it was pretty shocking. Um, Ryan Anderson time. is one of the co-owners that acquired the company in 2012. Back then, they called it a bulletproof business plan. No one could have predicted an international border closure, let alone the layoffs that would follow. We're just not used to laying anybody off, you know, for for 60 years. Uh, it just really, really wasn't part of, uh, you know, what we were about or what we had to do. So uh, this is really unprecedented, yeah. It's one of the oldest, one of the most historic ferry lines in the state, a vital connection between Port Angeles and British Columbia. But due to the border shutdown, it's at a standstill, a very expensive one at that. By its own prediction, the company is losing $750,000 each month they stay at dock. What would it mean if they failed? There will be probably hundreds of businesses that go to the wayside, and there are, you know, 10 times as many employees in this county that rely on black ball. Port Commissioner Colleen McCaller represents one of the many parties involved in saving the black ball ferry line. A keystone that, should it fall, could bring restaurants, retail shops, and even hotels with it. They're critical. We have to make sure that they are here after this all is over and done with. But here's where it gets tricky. Airlines benefited from a coronavirus relief package. Amtrak, a billion in federal aid. Black Ball is privately owned and to date hasn't qualified for federal relief. Do you feel that your kind of, your uniqueness is what's, what's hurting you at this point? Yeah, well, we're used to kind of falling through the cracks when it comes to those things. The Port Commission is expected to provide a half million dollars to the company and isn't charging mortgage fees while the city is waiving utilities. It's very difficult. Uh, I've been doing this for 20 years and uh, it's been part of my life. Meanwhile, the 150 people that Black Ball employs, including the ship's captain, can do nothing but wait for word that the MV Coho will set sail again. In Port Angeles, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.